This time I call the August meeting of the County Commission to order. I'll ask the County Attorney, Mr. Jackson, as he would lead us now in vacation. Commissioner Wade, the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Okay, we'll get started on our agenda. Am I, am I loud enough? Okay, don't sound to me. Get this thing up. Okay. Let me say that I'm seeing the audience tonight. Glad to have Mr. Brown, former county commissioner, with us to sit in and listen. Good to, good to have you with us. Item four is the approval of the agenda. Is there a motion that the agenda be approved? I mean, the minutes be approved as sent to you? I make that motion, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion, I have a second. I'll second, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Clyde, second by Commissioner Collins. Any discussion on the motion? Chair, hears none. All in favor of the motion, let it be known saying aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. The motion is carried. Item number five is the approval of the agenda. Is there a motion that we approve the agenda as printed? Mr. Chairman, I vote to approve the agenda. I have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion by Commissioner Wade, second by Commissioner Collins. Any discussion on the motion? Chair, here's none. All in favor of the motion, let it be known saying aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. The motion's carried. Item six, departmental reports. Office of Emergency Services, Director Broom. As you notice, Director Broom is not here tonight. He has uh, been sick for the past few days. I understand he has uh, pneumonia, and he's not able to be here tonight, but you have his report um, in your book. So if you have any questions, hopefully by Monday he will be back in his office and you can talk to him. Item B is the Recreation Department. Uh, Director Glaze, if you noticed, and he called this afternoon, he had Pop Warner started, and he has about 125 kids participating in the Top Warner program, and they are all out at the Recreation Department on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday afternoons from 6 to 8, and Saturday mornings from 9 to 11. He also wanted me to state that soccer registration will end on Thursday, August the 8th, today, 2019, and the season is set to start on Tuesday, September the 17th at 6 o'clock. And um, his report is there. Finance, Director Arnett. Chairman and Commissioners, you have my written reports. If you have anything, I'd be glad to answer your questions. Any questions to Director Arnett? Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Clyde. Ms. Arnett, uh, the T-Supply funds of 1% extra tax, on it, how is that running? Is it? Um, I didn't have time to look at it. I was just wondering, are we running, where we plan on running? Are we a little ahead, I hope? Let's see, hold on, I'll let you. You said T-Splosh. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I think it's running. That's transportation. Right. Splosh. I can tell you this. I, I'm not. I'm not sure right off the bat how much is up, but all of our sales tax money is up. I think Splash is, is probably up a little bit because Elmeg has gone up. So, 
some good news in. Yes, sir. It's, it's probably oh, not hear as me. Should, uh, and it's up a little bit from the monthly figure. Thank you, ma'am. Any other questions, Director Arnett? The good news about me being hot, the roof's about to be installed, and we're going to put new heating and air conditioning in this place where we can keep warm in the winter and cool in the summer. 6D is the Public Works Department Director Seymour. Chairman, members of the board, you have my written reports. Um, don't have anything to add to those at this time unless you have questions. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions at this time. Any questions, Director Seymour on his report? If not, item seven, moving right along, is the delinquent tax report. And uh, Tax Commissioner Brenda Dana McGahey is with us, and she's going to give us a report on delinquent taxes. Commissioner Chairman, Dana. Chairman Norman and the other candidate commissioners of the board. Mr. Norman asked me to come to give him a. Um, a figure on the delinquent taxes and for 16, 17, and 18 for the county apart only, 174,454. We're going to have a sale in November. It's approximately 300. It's going to go up for sale at this moment. Um, one of the groups that's going to go up for sale is Georgia Real Estate, which is Stillwater Cove. It'd be 150 lots there of the 300. So, um, I feel like I've done all I can do for the 16 taxes. It's 99.61 percent. 17 taxes are 98.97 percent, and 18 taxes are 96.3. I've tried payments that don't work, so we can set it. Maybe you know they see this in the paper that. At the county commissioners meeting, they really realize I mean business. You know, this is almost almost a mill and a half taxes, one hundred seventy four thousand. So, any questions, Mr. Chairman? It is Commissioner Wade. So you're saying there's about a million dollars worth of taxes that are due? One hundred seventy four thousand. One hundred seventy four thousand. Four hundred fifty four to the county. Okay. How much is the county's? That's the county part. Oh, the 171 is the county's part. Okay, I got you. Can I ask a question? Commissioner Clyde, certainly. Ms. Dana, when, when they are advertised and they know the sale date, November or whatever, what percent of those usually try to pay up and go ahead and come off sales block? Norm normally, we start out about 150 and we have probably 25 or 30, but we do know we're going to have 150 of those 300 because of that. Of Stillwater Cove. Any other questions? I got a comment, Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Wade. <clears throat> well, uh, Commissioner, I'm glad you're uh, foreclosing on this property. I know some of these people have been owing taxes two or three years, and uh, they need to pay up or move out. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Appreciate what you do. I think if you would, Commissioner Dana, leave a, let me say this, Commissioner Dana McGahey, if you would leave a copy of that with the clerk, she could give a copy of that to each one of the commissioners. Thank you. I mean, you can do it tomorrow. be fine. Thank you. Item 8, Alcoholic Beverage Licenses, Clerk McKella. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Kyle McLeod, doing business as Back Paddle Brewing, has met all his requirements for a Class E brewery with consumption on premises, or asking permission, I mean, approval for his um, application. Okay, you heard the request for an alcoholic beverage license, Class E. This is the first time in the history of 1796, I think, that we've issued a Class E license. Uh, Mr. McLeod is with us. He's in the back. He's, uh, he's the owner of the Backpack Brewing LLC. And for those that don't know, he's on 378 in the old Ed Keener baked tackle business. Uh, he's a new addition to our uh, community. He's going to have, I think, food, and he's going to brew his own beer for those that want to go and, and, and 
and partake in his food and drink. Okay, we've discussed this. Is there a motion that we grant the Class E license to Mr. Kyle McLeod doing business back paddle brewing LLC? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman, since he's in my district. Have a motion. Is there a second? I second, Mr. Chairman. Have a motion by Commissioner Wade, second by Commissioner Clyde. Any discussion on the motion? Chair hears none. All in favor of the motion, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. Motion is carried. Good luck. Mr. McLeod, we hope you have a very successful business and <laughs> you'll enjoy your time spent in Lincoln County. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Item nine is a resolution for a temporary license fee, Clerk McKellar. Yes, sir, we need to pass the resolution for the fee that will be charged for temporary um, alcohol beverage licenses. This one is for a one-day permit for $50. Okay, you heard the request that we set the fee for $50 for a one-day temporary alcoholic beverage license. This will be in, I think, October. That Lincoln County Pauls is putting on a fundraiser for the animals of Lincoln County to be looked after a little better. It's a very worthy cause. I hope everybody will turn out and support it. I think you're going to have some good chicken and some good pork and some, and some uh, good fellowship and some good ale, and, and it goes for a worthy cause, and I understand that um, there will be a laser show, it will be about a 30 minute production at Cherokee Park Day Camp uh, that afternoon, so they are looking for funds, if anybody's watching me on TV and they're listening to it or on the internet, they are looking for sponsors and they're looking for money. And again, it's for a worthy cause. Get in touch with Ms. Fox or Ms. Poland or any member of the Lincoln County Pauls. Okay, is there a motion that gives me the authority and the clerk the authority to sign the resolution on the temporary $50 a day temporary alcoholic beverage license? Mr. Chairman, I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Is there a second? No, I'll second, Mr. Chairman. Got a motion by Commissioner Collins, second by Commissioner Henderson. Any discussion on the motion? Chair hears none. All in favor of the motion, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All aye. opposed, like sign. The motion's carried. Item number 10, temporary alcoholic beverage license, Clerk McKellar. Yes, sir. L.C. Paws is coming before the board today to ask for a temporary license for their Ales for Tails benefit. Okay, Lincoln County Paws is asking for the temporary permit for previous agenda item that we just voted on for the $50 temporary permit. They have a motion that we grant this temporary permit to, to Lincoln County Falls. I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. You got a motion. Is there a second? I second, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Wade, second by Commissioner Clyde. Any discussion on the motion? Chair hears none. All in favor of the motion, let it be known saying aye. 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 All opposed. Like sign. Any motion is carried. Item number 11. I think Ms. Poland wants to say something. Who? Ms. Poland. Who? Oh, Deborah. Deborah. Say something, I think. Oh. Talk about it. Do you want to? Ms. Poland, do you want to say something? Well, I did want to get you out. Come to the microphone, please, where we can pick you up. Uh, I'd like to pass out some of our flyers, our posters, so each of you could actually see what we have planned. It is going to be a huge event. And like Chairman Norman said, this is the first time in CSRA's history that there's ever been a laser show. We've had a lot of fireworks shows. But this laser show is going to be extremely big. It's a 30-minute show out of a company from Minnesota that's going to be putting the show on. And there's a link on our LC Paul's uh, Ells for Tales Facebook page where you can actually click on it and see the YouTube video of what the show is going to be very similar of. It's not the exact show, but uh, may I pass these out to you and the commission? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. If you would, you can give them to the clerk and she'll give them to us. And we can put one on the, on the bulletin board and some of the county buildings too. Help you advertise that. How about that? And we do appreciate everything and anything that anybody can do for us to help us financially push this thing through, we really would appreciate it. We're hoping to have upwards of almost 5,000 people to attend. And that's really big for Lincoln County. The okay. bands that we're bringing in, 
are actually based out of Augusta, a lot of them, and they have a really big following. The Robbie Ducey Band was performing at the Miller Theater this past weekend, and they were sold out. And they're one of our performing bands. So anything that uh, anyone in our community can help us to raise money to support this event, we'd appreciate it. Thank you, and that's October the 5th. Yes, sir. Lincoln County Paul's Ales for Tales. Gates open at 10 o'clock. Counselor. So be there. Thank you. Hey, Thank you, Ms. Paul. We appreciate it. Thank you, Doctor. Mr. Chairman, Tim Crooks, our 911 dispatcher, isn't he? Is he the one doing the singing? He is. Yes, sir. He is. That's the Tim Crook. Right. He's doing it. Okay, item number 11 is a remount for the for a new ambulance, what that basically does, is, and we discussed it in our work session. Um, we have three bids. This is putting a brand new vehicle under a box that's on a current uh, vehicle. <clears throat> that is revamped and brought back up to date and, and put on a new chassis and a new vehicle. We have three bids. We have a, a 2019 Chevrolet for 91905 We have a 2019 Dodge 3500 Type 1, $97,405. And we have a 2019 F350 Type 1 ambulance um, to go. The, the low bid is the $90,084 for the forward chassis. Uh, as, as we've discussed, we have this money in our new budget, our temporary budget, which will carry over to the permanent budget in a few weeks. Um, a, a grant has been applied for for $100,000. We feel good about it. If the grant comes through, then we won't have to, we won't have to do the, the spending of it. And the way we are doing that is over... Uh, we're going through ACCG with the lease purchase, I think, for three or four years. It's, it's what, we're, what we're doing. I need a motion that we, that we purchase the 2019 Ford F-350 for the ambulance service in the amount of $90,084. So moved, Mr. Chairman. That's second. I'll second, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Henderson, second by Commissioner Collins. Any discussion on the motion? Chair, here's none. All in favor of the motion, let me know by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, like, sign. Motion is carried. Item number 12 is a bush hog tractor direct to Seymour. Chairman, commissioners, um, we actually opened a, a, a bid um, on August 6th, was Tuesday at, at 2 p.m. to determine a low bid for a new bush hog tractor that we desperately need. Uh, we had five bidders that, um, that supplied us with a bid. The low bid for that tractor is Blanchard Equipment out of Waynesboro for $38,400. Uh, this is a budgeted item in the budget. Uh, it's also coming out of t Sploss funds. Um, and I ask that y'all approve the purchase of the tractor from Blanchard Equipment for the $38,400. Okay, we've discussed this. I think the bid opening was a few days ago. You heard the request from Director Seymour that we purchase this tractor from Blanchard Equipment for $38,400. This tractor will be paid for through t Splash funds. Is there a motion that we purchase the tractor? I make that motion, Mr. Chairman. Is there a second? I'll second, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion by Commissioner Clyde, second by Commissioner Wade. Any discussion on the motion? Chair, here's none. All in favor of the motion, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed, like, sign. Motion is carried. Item 13, 2019, L. Mig, Director Seymour. Uh, yes, sir, Chairman. Um, this is another item we discussed in the, in the work session. Um, our 2019 L. Mig uh, is still open. We're still operating under it. We've got several more roads to do. Uh, however, um, Jones Martin Road and Williams Circle uh, are in. Uh, pretty bad condition. Uh, I ask that we, um, that y'all vote to uh, place those two roads onto the 2019 LMIG list so that we can uh, resurface both of those roads. Okay, you got a, you got a request from, I see, you got a request from Director Seymour that we add to the LMIG Jones Martin Road and- William Circle. William Circle. Yes, sir. Is that a motion? 
Since that's my district, I'll make the motion, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> it's our <laughs> second. I'll second, Mr. Motion Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Clyde, second by Commissioner Collins. Now discussion, Commissioner Clyde. No, sir. That, we just put a new bridge on that road, so I we guess did. we'll make it even better. Yes, sir. It's in pretty bad shape. Uh, we've already gone and done some, uh, some patchwork on some of the potholes and done some leveling. Uh, to try to get it to where it's um, at least passable for the time being. Uh, but I think at the very least we're going to go in and put a couple layers of, um, of stone on it to, to get it to where we can. Mr. Chairman, sorry, next question. Commissioner Clyde. Um, how long will it be, Rob? If they ask me, I can tell them something. When do we anticipate? Um, I, I anticipate it probably in the next, I'd say, 30 to 45 days we should be done with it. Oh, yes. I think they start on Gill Point Road next week, don't they? They'll start on Gill Point Monday, and then I think we're going to go there as soon as we get through with Gill Point. So, um, you know, barring any unforeseen, you know, delays, we'll be um, we should be there in the next couple of weeks getting everything prepared. So I'd say safely, comfortably, say 30 to 45 days, we should be done. All right. Thank yes, you. Mr. Chairman, you Commissioner Way. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate the fact you're working these roads very diligently. Um, everybody's asking about when you're going to get to my road. I saw Riley Long over at Rich's place Sunday, and he wanted to know when you was going to fix his road. I understand. <laughs> so uh, I appreciate your efforts, and thank you, sir. Uh, I see a lot of things happening. You, thank you, Commissioner Wade. Let me tell you what I tell people. They always ask me when you're going to get to our road. I said it's like going to a homecoming of the church, and you got a long table of food and 200 people eat it. Somebody's got to get that first plate, somebody's got to pick up that last plate. <laughs> That's the way it is. We are trying to get but, the roads that, that us with DOT have determined are the worst and, and work our way up. So that's, I wish we could get them all in one year, but we only have about $20 million worth of roads that need resurfacing and about $700,000 a year to do it with. So you'll never get caught up at that rate. All right. All in favor of the motion, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed, like sign, motion's carried. <clears throat> Item 14 is the board appointments to the Recreation Authority, District 2, Commissioner Collins. Mr. Chairman, I do apologize, but once again, I am not ready to make an appointment. I understand. District 4, Commissioner Wade. Yes, sir, I haven't uh, conducted my interviews yet, <laughs> so uh, I'm not ready, sir. And I understand this just came up in the last week or so, so I, I, I certainly understand that you don't have that one. Okay, well, those will be postponed, clerk, to the September meeting. Item 15 is board appointments to the Department of Family and Children's Services. District 1, Commissioner Henderson. Uh, yes, sir. I'd like to uh, appoint Ms. Virginia Williams to the DFAX board. Okay, he has made the recommendation and the motion to appoint Ms. Virginia Williams to District 1 on the Department of Family and Children's Services. I second to the motion. I'll second, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Henderson, second by Commissioner Collins. Any discussion on the motion? Chair, is none. All in favor of the motion, let it be known saying aye. 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 All opposed, like, sign, the motion's carried. B is uh, District 2, Commissioner Collins. Mr. Chairman, I would like to reappoint uh, Renee Guthrie, I'm sorry. I knew that was going to happen. Renee Guthrie. He, Commissioner Collins is wanting to appoint uh, Renee Guthrie to District 2 on the Department of Family and Children's Services. He's made that on a motion. I'm assuming is that a second? I'll second, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Collins, second by Commissioner Wade. Any discussion on the motion? Chair hears none. All in favor of the motion, let me know saying aye. Aye. All opposed, like, sign, motions carried. Item 16, Board Appointments to the Development Authority, District 1, Commissioner Henderson. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm not pre prepared to make an appointment there tonight. Okay, he is not ready to make an appointment to the Development Authority, so we'll put that off, and hopefully we'll be ready by the September meeting. Item 17 is the water line proposal. Uh, as we have discussed, we'd ask, like to suspend the section of uh, New Petersburg Road and transfer that to Lewis Family Road. We have some, the, some prospects of some new developments in that area, and uh, we would take it and, 
and move it over to to Lewis Family Road in the Thompson Highway area. I think we talked about that a good bit in the work session. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I second, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion and a second. Motion by Commissioner Collins, second by Commissioner Clyde. Any discussion on the motion? I'd like to speak, Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Wade. Um, <clears throat> this is a difficult situation. Both areas, I think, need water. Uh, the Petersburg Road is my district. Uh, it was a part of the original grant, uh, Montego Point being the other part, which is in my district, and I appreciate that. We're getting started, uh, we're getting ready to get started out at Montego Point. But um, I can't vote in good conscience uh, representing those constituents to move the water line. Uh, I'm sure uh, the other commissioners may feel different. Uh, you did mention development, and I know that's important to us. But uh, we have advertised in the newspaper about the grant and that we were going to do the water line in that area, so I can't support it. Okay, we have a motion in a second that we suspend the part of Petersburg Road, move it to Lewis Family Thompson Highway area on our 2019 USDA loan grant. Um, it's not unusual at all that things change during the process. This has been a two-year process, and and some area has changed as well as we've made some changes to some other things, but uh, each and every commissioner has the right and the responsibility to serve the constituents in the best way that they know how, and I respectfully ap appreciate what Commissioner Wade said. All in favor of the motion, let me know I'm saying aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. Aye. Let the minutes reflect that it passed by four to one vote, Commissioner Wade voting against it. Item number 18 is service delivery strategy. <clears throat> As y'all know, we have been in discussion for over a year on the SDS, service delivery strategy, that has our county and our city of Lincoln in non-compliance because we can't, haven't been able to come to an agreement on a map that is mandated by law every 10 years that the county and the municipalities within that county agree on their SDS. SDS is not just water or sewage. I think it's, <clears throat> I think it's 38 things that pertain to the SDS in Lincoln County. SDS is not a part of a water or sewer agreement or any part of any lawsuits or court actions that have been held. SDS is a part of the comprehensive plan uh, that, you have, that you have to do every 10 years. So. I want the public to understand that it's completely separate from anything else. SDS is not a part of any suits that's going on or have been going on. It's, it, uh, the law specifically states what you have to do in, in, in case you're not in agreement, and um, <clears throat> that is that you have to go to mediation. And we have gone to mediation twice, came to no conclusion. Um, and therefore, we are here now. Several maps have been submitted to the city, and uh, several maps have been set back. Um, I'm going to ask if there's anyone that has anything that they would like to say. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman, I have some comments I would like to make. And then Commissioner Collins. At the end of my comments, I am prepared to make a motion. Um, as you have stated, we have been trying for over a year now to work out an agreement so that we can uh, sign off on the SDS. Now I want everybody to understand the comments I'm about to make are not being made at any one or two individuals, they are being made to the city council, the governing body of Lincoln. And I'm not speaking for anybody sitting up here except for me. Now. Two or three times recently, I have agreed and voted to submit a map to the city of Lincoln for their approval so we can get this agreement behind us. And I will tell you, I have done this very reluctantly, 
And if the chairman was to te it will tell you the truth, the last map that we submitted, it took him an hour to talk me into saying okay. Really, that's the only way I can get out of his office that day. <laughs> Every time we submit a map to the city, it comes back rejected with them, with the city, asking for more. Now, on July the 29th, I stopped by the courthouse to visit with the chairman and pick up some mail and was informed that the city has sent us another map requesting that we approve it so we can reach an agreement. And once again, they were asking for more. However, there was only one or two or three small minor issues that I felt like we could come to an agreement on and get it worked out and get it behind us. That was on the 29th. Now the chairman did mention that, hey, he'd received a letter that he didn't particularly like. Well, on the 30th, I got a copy of that letter. And every, you know, I, along with everybody sitting up here, got a copy of the letter. And the letter basically implied that I, as a commissioner, am responsible for everything that's happened. Uh, I'm responsible for the lawsuit we're involved in. It went on to imply that I knowingly and deliberately voted to submit a map to the city omitting current city water customers in hopes that I could pick them up in the county. The letter also went on to imply that I had thrown the contract in the trash and was just doing whatever I wanted to do. Now, I've always prided myself on trying to set aside personal issues when it comes to voting on or deciding on something that comes before this commission. But when I get a letter that pretty much says in more words than were necessary that I'm a crook, a thief, a shyster, calling into question my honesty and my integrity, it becomes personal. I want to add to address a couple of the statements made in this letter. Twice I was told in this letter that we had wasted a quarter million dollars of taxpayers' money. These being paid out to engineers and lawyers. Now, when I look at the numbers from the county and the numbers that the city have submitted, I can come up with $157,000. Of that $157,000, $115,000 was billed to the city of Lincoln. Where's the other $97,000? I don't have it. But twice this letter told me I'd wasted a quarter of a million dollars. The letter stated that we filed a lawsuit over the five issues that we had been arguing about for years. I want to set the record straight. After years of meeting and arguing with the city as to how they were charging us for our customers in Saddlebrook subdivision, the city was charging us the retail rate while everything else in the county got the wholesale rate. But after years of getting nowhere, the, the county decided we'll just mark the bill for the wholesale rate and submit that to the county, to the city. Well, then the city writes a letter to our customers in the Saddlebrook subdivision. I think they sent it to the chairman, saying that if we don't pay up by a certain date, and they give the date, they're going to cut the water off. Now. We did file suit or file for an injunction asking the courts to not allow the city to turn this water off until the courts had time to interpret the language in the contract that we had both agreed to. That is all we asked for, interpretation from the court of one issue. 
But at this time, the city threw in all these other issues. But they want to tell me I'm the one responsible for it. I'd like to take a look at what the county has offered so far. We have offered a shovel-ready project, a water line down New Petersburg Road. They did not reject it. They just wanted more. We have offered to more than double the acreage that the city could service, more than double what the, the current acreage inside the city limits of Lincoln. They have not rejected that. They just want more. And every time the city submitted a map, it said it's, it's come back saying we want more. But when I drive around the city of Lincoln, it's kind of obvious to me there are some issues. I would point out Lillian Sims Road, or Drive, Bill Street on the other side of town. Lillian Sims is the road that every visiting team and their fans come across when they come on football Friday night. And it's full of potholes. Bill Street, I don't think is repairable. To, to my knowledge, the last time they had a big water leak in the city, on the city water line, they called in a company from Wilkes County to fix it. Now either, either they don't have the resources or the equipment or the manpower to fix a water leak. Why didn't you call the county? We've got all that. We can do it. We could have kept the money in, this, in the county, not sent, part of, not sent it up to Wilkes County. Now, I'm not doubting that the county is doing the best they can with the resources they have. But when I look around, I have to ask myself, if you're doing the best you can with what you've got, why in the world are you asking for more? Now, as I, I know as a commissioner, as, long as, of, as well as everybody else sitting up here, and I am sure the city knows that if we do not reach an agreement on the SDS, we stand to lose $360,000 in LMIG money. <clears throat> and I firmly believe that the city knows this, and what they're doing is trying to hold us hostage by telling us they want more and more and more, thinking that eventually we're going to give in so we can get to $360,000. Well, I am not willing to pay that ransom. Now, I will say that after telling me how sorry I am, they closed the letter by asking me to approve the map enclosed. I don't think so. Mr. Chairman, at this time, in a few moments, I'm going to make a motion. And if my motion receives a second and is passed by a majority vote, I would then like to follow that up with a second motion. And Mr. Chairman, at this time, I move that we reject the city's request for approval of the latest map that they have submitted. Gentlemen, you heard the motion by Commissioner Collins that we reject the map that was presented to us by the city. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second that motion. I have a motion by Commissioner Clyde, sec uh, Commissioner Collins, second by Commissioner Clyde. Any discussion? I'd like to say something, Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Mr. Clyde. After receiving, receiving that derogatory letter that had three pages uh, explaining in detail how worthless, wrong, and sorry we were, I've lost my appetite for continuing discussions and trying to work. Um, this letter certainly did not set the tone for meaningful, serious, and productive discussions. So it's time to do something different. Thank you, Commissioner Clyde. Any other discussion? Yes. Commissioner Wade. Well, I take a little bit different look at it. Uh, I agree with everything that uh, Commissioner Collins has said, I mean, he's telling it like it is. But um, 
we've been in this non-compliance for I believe about 18 months and of course SDS is all about who services water and sewer to our county and city residents and as the chairman mentioned some other things um, we renew that agreement every 10 years and <clears throat> when we're out of compliance then we're ineligible to receive uh, grant monies and during the last eight, 18 months um, I believe being out of compliance had a lot to do with the fact that we did not get a grant $750,000 for our senior center. Uh, the other thing as Commissioner Collins has pointed out uh, we're in jeopardy on the L LMIG funds of 360,000. Uh, this is a lot of money for the county and uh, so um, I think it's I, I, I think that um, let me read down here just a little bit more uh, we spent over a hundred and fifty thousand dollars on engineers attorneys and um, and in court cost so we spent a lot of money we missed out on a lot of money and uh, just because of this disagreement between the city and the county and I think it is I agree with the Commissioner Collins it's time to close this out and get it over with and get it finished but we may disagree here and that I would like to give I would vote to give uh, the city 15 days to accept the last map that we sent to them that they rejected and if they do not accept that map then we start back at ground zero and of course we put our position our self in a position to lose grant money and more legal cost but I think it's after all of this disagreements all these comments has been made all the money that's been spent I don't think uh, it's unrealistic to say you've got two weeks to accept the last map if not this is a consequence so that's my position on it okay any other discussion Mr. Chairman, those uh, the attorney fees. He was. I don't think that's correct. What is it? Now? Wasn't that how we said we had spent 150 something? Um, engineering lawsuits and uh, court costs, all of it together. 150,000. I, I think it was stated 157,000. Well, um, let let me say 157,000 dollars was spent total. Right. Of that money that was spent the county spent eight thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars on engineering the city spent forty six thousand five hundred ninety five dollars and eighty four cents on engineering the attorney fees the county spent thirty three thousand one hundred and thirty six dollars and four cents the city spent $68,401.19 for a total of $114,997.03. The county spent a total in engineering and attorney fees of $42,000, not, not $68,000, but $42,000 versus the city's $114,000. Not only that, this was, this was, what I was going to say a little later. Not only that, the city charged over fifty thousand dollars of their attorney and engineering fees to the joint use facility account, which means that Lincoln County Water Department hadn't got anything to do with taxpayers. I want to make that clear too. Taxpayers has not spent one dime on attorney or engineering fees related to the to the suits sds is yes not the suits it comes from the users of the water department if you're not hooked to the county's water system you pay absolutely nothing on the lawsuit sds yes because the sds is a part of the comprehensive plan and is not a part of the water department they do so you know, to wrap, to wrap this up, I think it's a lot of difference 
and 114,997 and 42, that's actually 72,930 dollars difference. And when that was charged to the joint use facility, that put Lincoln County paying over $50,000 of the city's part of their attorney and engineering fees, which is ludicrous, obviously ludicrous, that they expect us to pay over half, more, more than we paid on our part to start with. We paid 42000 now they charge 50 something thousand to the county. So I, I don't know how the county can do anything any different than to, to discuss the fact that we, we are not liable for their engineering lawsuits. If they can put it in the joint use facility, then the county ought to put theirs in. And what that did, let me tell you what that did. When all said and done at the end of every year and you have audits, the city sent us a check for $1,700, saying that we overpaid $1,700. Had they not put that money in that joint use facility, you know what they would have paid Lincoln County? $29,000. That's what they robbed us out of in, in what they did. Now, not only that, they increased our water rates four cents a thousand. Nobody that sits on this commission can, should be able to vote to be drugged down the road like this. We don't want to get into this point, but we are not going to sit back under my leadership to cost the taxpayers of Lincoln County. Commissioner Wade, you don't represent the first person that lives in the city limits of Lincoln, not the first one. Okay. Not the first one. But if you think that we need to give our water district away to the city who can't go hook them up, then those folks won't be able to get hooked up because we give the SDA area away that we can't hook up your constituents. I don't understand that, but you have the right to do whatever you set your mind to do. But we have, I, am, I am not in favor of waiting any longer. We have been dealing with this since February of 2017, and we're, we've, it's got to find resolution somewhere. The county cannot continue, continue, continue to give. I have not had the first person, not the first one, to tell me to put the unincorporated area in the SDS for the city to try to get us water, not the first one. But I've had lots of them to tell me that we should not, that we have given the city way too much. As Commissioner Collins said a while ago, I have it right here. The city of Lincolnton currently today under the SDS map of 2007, they have 2,181.49 acres of land in that SDS map. What this commission has offered the city in the last map we sent to them is 54,057 point, I mean 5,457.43 acres. That's an increase of 250% of the existing city limits today. We are offering them, they got 2181 today, we are offering them 3,275 more acres. I think we have bent over backwards to do what we want to do. I think it is time, if, if, if we don't get our LMEG, we don't get it. You know, we have 140 something miles of paved roads. The city has 17. We are paving right now. You just approved and we told you tonight we are paving at least half in the next few months, at least half of the total road mileage of the city of Lincoln. We're paving this summer. And we're going to continue to be able to pave. But we cannot afford to give the water rights to the citizens of the unincorporated area of Lincoln County any more territory than we've offered. The fact of the business, I'm not in favor of giving them what we've offered them before. We've given them too much, they didn't take it. I'm willing to negotiate and see what we can do to come up with a map, but I will not be in agreement of giving them anything close to what we've already offered them. Can I, can I respond to Yes, sir. Well, I don't think I've, I've asked, I don't think I've uh, offered any more 
than what we already offered in this last map. The only thing I stated was that we give them two weeks, 15 days, to accept the last map that we all voted on, and if they don't accept it, then we go back, as Commissioner Collins had indicated, we go back to ground zero and start doing all of this back and forth and spend all this money and miss out all, all these grants. Only thing I'm recommending is two weeks for them to let them know this is it. Take it or leave it. I understand. I understand what your comments were, but we have a motion on the floor and a second. I'm going to call it to a vote. All in favor of the motion, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. Aye. The vote is four to one. Commissioner Wade voting against it. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make another motion. Commissioner Collins. Mr. Chairman, I would like to make the motion that this board instruct you to write a letter to the mayor and to each and every city council person informing them that the last map they submitted for our approval has been rejected. Furthermore, informing them that everything the county has offered to date in an effort to reach an agreement has, is now rescinded. And that any future negotiations would start with the 2007 SDS map with Fire Tower Road and Roland York Road being in the city service area. I would also like to include in this that you inform the, the, city, the mayor and the, and the city council that you and one commissioner of your choosing, along with the public works director, will be more than happy to meet with the mayor, one councilman, and their public works director to see if we cannot come to an agreement and get this behind us. You've heard the motion by Commissioner Collins that's pointed out four things that he would like for me to do as the chairman. Um, we will give a copy of this to the clerk where she can have this for the motion. Is there a second to Commissioner Collins' motion? I so second. I have a motion by Commissioner Collins, second by Commissioner Clyde. Any discussion on the motion? I have a question. Commissioner Wade. Okay, if we're going to sit down and discuss all of this with the representatives that Commissioner Collins has pointed out, this is basically what I was proposing, that we give two weeks to try to come to some resolution. So I will vote for that if that's what we're talking about, is trying to settle this short term where we don't have to go back through all this litigation and miss out on these grants. So in that case, I'll vote for it. So what you want to do is rescind your vote on the first part? Well, it didn't include any kind of, uh, we're going to go back and re-evaluate. Re, uh, or we I don't, I don't, I, uh, Mr. Attorney, I really don't think we got to go back. We can let that one stand it is and vote on this motion, which is a separate well, that's motion. That's fine. That's, that's fine. correct, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Okay. Well, I voted against the first one, but I'll vote for this one. If we're going to have a sit-down session with those representatives to see if we can uh, resolve the issues. Okay. But Mr. Chairman, Commissioner I want to make sure that Commissioner Wade understands that in my motion, when we have a sit down, provided the city is agreeable, that we will start our negotiations from ground zero. Right. Everything that we have offered up to this date is no longer on the table. With the exception, I think, in your motion, it does say Five Tower, Five Tower, Road, Five Tower and Road and Road, York Road, which is where they currently have water lines in the that's not in the ASD area. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to speak. Commissioner to Henderson. Uh, <laughs> well, I was telling Commissioner Collins earlier, I've only been here, I think, seven months or a little bit more, and the only way I could really stomach that letter was to assume that they wasn't talking about me and most of it. <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure if that's a good assumption Keep or not. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> but, uh, but I, I have a problem with starting over from ground zero, and that is that I think we're close. Um, and the, the big thing that we stand to lose is our, our LMIG money uh, for, I'm assuming it's 2020. 
Um, and my district desperately needs road work. Uh, I mean, we're talking about half of our road budget for the year is going to be lost in this grant if we don't get something done by December 31st. And I think this is, is moving us further away from getting agreement rather than closer to it. Um, and, I, and I can in good conscience vote to, to, to give up the road money that my district so desperately needs. Comment. Commissioner Collins. Mr. Henderson, I appreciate your comments and I fully understand what you're saying. But I would ask that you please bear in mind that not only will we lose L big money, the city of Lincoln will lose L big money. Not only that, any grants the city of Lincoln has or wants to apply for, they will not get. And I, as I go back to my opening statements 15, 20 minutes ago, I'm not willing to pay the ransom for $360,000. Now, you know, I probably would have gone along with the last map they submitted if we could have changed one or two things. But to send me a letter berating me, uh, game's over. Okay, we've heard it all. We talked about it. Um, I'm assuming then that we will vote on the motion that we have that we send the letter to the city with these stipulations. All in favor of the motion, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. Aye. Aye. The motion is carried three to two, and we will send uh, three to two, sir. Oh, three to two, you voted, okay. Yes. And the only thing we're opposing, Mr. Chairman, is starting at ground zero. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I, you know, some way you got to start over. We haven't had much cooperation or much work, so we'll just let the maps go. We'll send a letter and see where that goes to. This was discussed a little in the work session last week. Um, I know sometimes I get a little excited and I talk loud, but I want everybody to know that I'm not mad with Commissioner Wade or, or Commissioner Henderson or anybody. We. Uh, we shake hands and we usually go out to eat, break bread after the meeting's over and we're going to continue to do that. This is sometimes we have differences of opinion and that's the reason you got five people up here instead of one. So with that said, we don't, we don't leave mad, do we, Commissioner? No, sir. So, <laughs> I'd be mad all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we all would. I just get a little excited and I can't hear good anyway, so I talk loud all the time anyway. All right. Is that a motion we adjourn? Make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Is there a second? I'll second. Motion by Commissioner Wade, second by Commissioner Henderson. Any discussion on the motion? Chair hears none. All in favor of the motion, let me know saying aye. 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 All opposed, like, sign. The motion is carried. We stand adjourned.